Welcome to Pantech Solutions. In this video, we are going to see demo how to design graphic user interface using app designer MATLAB. Okay. So uh, first, just open MATLAB. Okay. Once you open MATLAB, you will have the command window. And the first thing is to change the path. Okay. Change the path. Like CD single quotes, up, up in paste the path. Else, you will also change the path at the top. Okay. I click and paste the path here. Okay. The first thing is to change the path. There are three options like home, plots, and app. Two apps. On the apps window, you have designer. Okay. Click designer. Once you click design app, okay. click. click the black app. And choose the blank app. Okay. So you will get two view. One is the design view, and another is the code view. The design view is a place where you have to place the components. Components like push button, toggle button, access, okay. checkbox. So on the left hand side, you have the component libraries where you could find the components access, which is used to display images or which is used to display the graph. Okay. And button, push buttons, and checkbox. Date picker, drop down box, okay, and edit field, both string and text field, and image, label, list box. And in this video, we are going to cover up only the push buttons and the access. I'm going to develop a simple GUI for choosing an image and to add noise to the image to add to the noise, to the noise image. Okay. So on the right hand side, you have the component browser. Okay. So the first thing is to save this file. Save as it will be save as dot ML app extension. So I go for the desktop and I save it on the folder. Okay. Once it's saved on the folder, I click the run button. It opens the GUI. Okay. So this is the app now. So on the code view, if you click code view. We have a few codes here which is not editable. Like even if you try to write the program, you cannot write the program, which will not allow you to edit this code. Once you drag and drop the component and add the necessary call tags, then you can edit the code. For example, I just drag and drop the axis here. Okay. I'll minimize my face. Okay. I just drag and drop the axis. One is one access for input image, the second access for the noisy image, and third access is for the filter image. Okay. I just choose this access. Okay. To change the name, I can just change this name on the title input image. Could remove the X label string and the Y label string and the X tick. X tick label you could remove, Y tick, Y tick label you could remove. The next title string you could change this as noise the image. Okay. I'm going to add salt and pepper noise to this image. And this is filter image. Okay. Okay. Once, you, once you have done this, I'm going to drag and drop the push button. To change the name of the push button, I just click the push button and I change the name as browse okay. to choose an image. I'm going to copy and paste for noise the image as well as for uh, to add noise. This, this button is to add noise and this button is to apply filter. So once you drag and drop on the component browser on the right hand side, you could see the access. 
after dy.access. This is after dy.access. This is access two, and this is access three. And this is browse button and noise button. Now pass it. Save this file. Okay. If you run this program, you will get this GUI. Okay. You'll get this GUI. On the code view, if you check this code view, it cannot edit this code view here. So, all if you want to edit, if you want to add, right click, go for callbacks, add button push function callback. Here you could write to. Okay, I'll just go for the command window and just type help you again. Help you get file. I just copy the code. UI get file is used for user interface get file. Okay. You choose an input image. Okay. Just change this all files to pick an image. Pick an image. Okay. So if the file is not selected, I'm just going to display a uh, help dialog box. User press cancel. Else it will read the file. Input image, input image equal to read is a command. Okay, and I'm going to copy the path name and convert it. I'm just going to convert it both the path name and the file name so that I could choose image from anywhere, any of the folder. And to display, I am using show. We show this input image. Come on, you have to declare the parent. Okay. Just type this parent and the access. Just drag and drop the access. Okay. So if I run the program now, click and run the program. I could click the browse button and I could choose the image I want. Choose the image I want. So choose this image. If I want to add noise to this image, okay, I have to go to the go, go for design view, click add noise, and click, go for callback, add button push function callback. Here you could add the noise. So you want to get this input image from here. So in order to get this input image from here, you have to add the property, private property. For the private property, you just add the input image, okay. the variable input image. And you have to store this on app dot input image equal to input image. To retry, you just copy this code. Okay. And to add noise, to add noise, I'm going to use help, help IM noise. I'm going to add the salt and pepper noise. So I'll just copy the syntax from the help command. And I'm going to add noise to this input image. Okay. And this is the noise image. Display, I just copy this show command and copy the variable and it is the variable. Access to I have mentioned this. Run the program. Run the program. Choose an image, browse, and click choose an image and click add noise. So that will add noise to the image. Click apply filter. So we are going to add Function for apply filter. Click apply filter. Right click for callbacks. Add button push function callback. Okay. To get the noisy image at this place. To add the private property. And you have to store it on app noisy image equal to noisy image. Okay. You don't have to retrieve here. And you apply the filter image. 
filter image is equal to immediate filter to is immediate filter okay and you pass this nice image here. display that copy this and show that's the screen okay so another program so click browse to choose an image okay. click annos and click apply filter this is the filter one we have not changed the filter here on the so filter image. So click those. Click panels. Click apply filter. So it's very simple, like you could create your own applications over here. Okay. So this is the code which we have written. So you could write your own applications. Okay. So uh in this example, we have gone through uh, how to create push buttons and how to use the access. In the next example, we can go for the uh, how to use uh, labels, how to use this editor. Okay. We also have a 30 days program, MATLAB, uh, where we teach the basics of MATLAB. We also covered up the image processing medical image processing and video processing and neural networks and machine learning and deep learning okay. if you want to purchase this course we have a youtube offer for you uh, please click the link in the description box so you get the youtube offer and you subscribe for the 30 days course or if you have any doubts and clarifications you could join us on the live q and session on every saturday which will happen which will happen at 5 5 30. Okay. so once you join this course you will get into the warriors way community where you have lifetime access for the foundation. So uh, you could purchase this course and you could uh, like you get most out of it uh, to learn math. Okay.